Hello everyone, this is Muhammad Nadeem and I'm going to talk about how we can integrate key clock with Jenkins and how easy it is. Uh, before that, first thing first, so let's have our Jenkins running. So I already have the Jenkins started in debug mode. As you can see over here, uh, it's available in port number 8090 and have the key clock server started, which is basically uh, running in, J in JBoss EAP as you can see over here and I can access this so let's move on so yeah it's running Jenkins running and our key clocks running alright so the next thing that we have to make sure is let's make sure the plugin the key clock uh, authentication plugin is already installed as you can see over here in the install plugin tab is already available so we are good now once it is already installed we have to configure system to use the global security as, I, as I'm doing right now so let's enable the security as you can see here uh, there is a there's one of the options for the key clock authentication plugin so we have it over here okay so it's asking for the key clock JSON so where do we get it so that's we'll get it from the key clock server let's go to the administration console okay let's log in with the default credential so I'm there so for this purpose I'll just I'm gonna create a new demo I'm going to create a new realm basically let's call it as CI realm and save it uh, that's simple that's that's simple as as simple as that so I'm not going to do any other changes over here because I'll I'm good with all these defaults for that particular realm okay so so once your realm is created a user has to be created for that let's do that let's create a user uh, I'll go with M Nadeem which is my name Muhammad Nadeem and the ID I'll give it as M Nadeem and then let's give the email ID as something mnadim at gmail.com which doesn't exist but let's give it something else okay let's keep this thing okay we have uh, all these values out to populate it over here and just will save it okay all right so user has been created let's give some credentials because otherwise you won't be able to log in so let's give it some credentials password done uh, we don't want any roles over here, so we're good with that. Okay, once the user is created, let's go to let's create an auth client because that's what our Jenkins dude is gonna use. Let's create it. This created the auth client as name it anything. It's up to you. I'll I'll go ahead with creating Jenkins. Okay, the redirect URL that is gonna be important. So it should be this one. I'll just get it up right here, and then I'll just put asterisk. All right, something okay. I have to get hit add here. All right, that's good enough. I'm done. So claims the bare minimum things that should be on are the username, email, name, and email. I'll do that. I'll hit save, and we're good. So this is where they under the installation tab will get the JSON basically. This is what we need. I'll just copy it up and then I'll paste it over here. That's it. Done. Just save it. Mm, my system is a little bit slow, so it's going to take some time. All right. So, system is configured for key clock login. I'll just go ahead and log in. As you can see, it's redirected to key clock. If I use some other users, it won't work out as you can see here because this particular user doesn't exist in that particular realm I'll use this one which is which exists in CI realm I'll just log in okay based on the settings in key clock it's asked me to preset the password I'll do that alright this is important so this is what is uh, key clock is asking the grand, grand tab so I'll go ahead and say yes alrighty as you can see here I'm logged in and 
this is what has been displayed and let's go ahead and log out i hope you enjoyed the video bye bye